Colin Mike Peterson at Mark Ward Toyota in Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin. How are you doing? Here, I'll spin around and say hi. Hey, it's nice to meet you. I appreciate your interest in our Rubicon here. Hey, um, uh, I'll apologize in advance for the video quality or the audio quality on this. It's really windy here today, so it might uh, get kind of yucky. Uh, so hopefully you can hear me. Um, starting off on this, obviously, uh, rims and tires. There's that Rhino lining I was telling you about. Rhino lined uh, all the rims and they're all identical and they're all in that same exact shape. BF Goodrich, all terrain TAs on it. Good amount of uh, tread left on them. So you're not gonna worry about those for quite some time. Going on the side, um, just to show you, he's got that uh, diamond plate along the rocker. So no noticeable rust on this vehicle. Um, there's a couple little scratches and stuff on it, like I was telling you. A couple of just little things. Um, just a little stuff like this on here, which actually a little bit of buffy might be able to take a lot of this out. Just very, very tiny, tiny little scratches. There's a little bit of delamination on these fender flares. Not bad. Same thing with the rim and tire here. Real nice. All four are identical with that. Um, going around here, just to show you how he... Um, he rhino line the, uh, this uh, mechanism back here. It looks like maybe it had started to rust and then he right just rhino line the whole thing and it's I mean it's as solid as a rock. It's it's pretty awesome. It looks neat. Spare, beautiful, brand new, still got the little nubbies on it. Here's one of those spots that I was telling you about. Here's a little scratch here. He was where he had uh, uh, gone through and uh, touched it up. More just little, just very, very, very minor scratches on that. Here's that little bit more delamination uh, on that rim and tire. Like I say, there's there's no noticeable rust on the on the body on this whatsoever. This door is probably out of any of the spots on the vehicle. This and the hood. You can tell there's a lot of little spots on here where he touched it up so I mean he was like I told you he was meticulous with touch up this door if you can see it see that scratch follow my finger pretty long scratch on that door and it made just a tiny little indentation so certainly not bad but uh, you know marks obviously I want to show them to you another spot there that he touched up just little scratches you know stuff like that That would, it would certainly uh, help with that. Obviously, flare looks real good here too. There's a couple little tiny marks on it. Rim. Tire's fantastic. We come around here, front end. You ran a line that whole thing too. It looks pretty tough. Obviously, spot for a, a winch there has the hooks on it. Uh, here's this front end, obviously, stuff like this where he touched it up. And I mean, he touched up everything. That was, if there was a rock chip, he touched it up. So, like I say, a real good job of that. Front of the hood in the hood. This is that part I was telling you about. See these little indentations? See that along the whole hood? I don't know if you can see that in the video there. Like right there, you know what I mean? See them? The whole hood has got those little, I don't know if the paint was starting to peel and he just sanded it down and then repainted the whole hood is my guess because nothing's I mean, a couple of them have just started to maybe break through it's not rust which is the weird part i don't know if it's if it was just a bad paint thing and he just redid it so that's my uh, that's my take on it so other than that that passenger door and you know a few of the little things on the front everything looks real good the hard cover is just beautiful This does have a one month, 1,000 mile warranty from our dealership, bumper to bumper. So by the time you drive it back home, obviously you'll have your thousand miles on it, but uh, they're uh, they're pretty solid on it. Nothing mechanically wrong. By state law in Wisconsin, we have to put that on there. So I just drove it. It drives out pretty awesome. It is, it is the bumpy Jeep ride, but I tell you what, I just went on a regular road out in front of the dealership here and it, it wasn't bad at all. And it's really windy today, so it was a little herky-jerky with that, but certainly not bad uh, at all. Just to show you this interior. 
looks real good. Obviously no, no tears or anything like that. This has got the cover with the speaker and the lights on that roll bar. Spinner up here. Oops, sorry. Door was one slamming. And we've got this. Looks real nice. And the rest of that. So super duper vehicle. Yeah, Colin, I really appreciate your interest. And uh, with any luck, we'll uh, warrant the trip all the way to Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin. Okay. Talk to you soon.